Welcome back to Marty's Toolbox. For today's video, we have a very, very exciting unboxing. So, sorry about the lighting and stuff. I'm not at my own place right now, but I just picked up a crap load of figures and it's time to unbox them all. So, here we have Ultimate Edition The Fiend and a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. There is a little image from there. So a lot of these figures have been unboxed that you have been, that you will be seeing soon on the channel. So they might not be perfect, but there's that. And let's take a pick look at the side of the box. The Fiend Bray Wyatt. There's the back. The Fiend six foot three. He's from Parts Unknown. Finished the Mandible Claw, and his career highlight is the Universal Champion. There's an image of the back. There is that. Inside the Fire 5 Funhouse, Bray Wyatt has an underlying area of finish of sinister intent. There is nothing underlying about his horrific ego. The Fiend, birthed from the unsettling dark corners of Bray Wyatt's mind, the glowish Fiend awaits anyone who's ready to play. All you have to do is let him in. And this is from his debut match against Finn Balor, as you can see. So that is the Fiend. Here is Hollywood Hulk Hogan. There's the side. Here's the back, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Six or seven from Venice Beach, California. Finisher, Atomic Leg Drop, career highlight, WWE Champion. And down here, it says when the NWO invaded WCW, they kept saying there was going to be a third man. To the shock of everyone, the third man was the greatest hero to step inside of a ring, Hulk Hogan. Gone was the red and blue replaced by red and white, giving the NWO someone to lead attack uh, during the Monday Night Wars. There's an image of Hogan. So let's open these up and get them out of the box. So here we do have the figures out of the box. And so on the box, it showed all their heights and stuff. And it, they were only like four inches apart, I think. But these figures, this size difference, I don't know if I have them set up or what. But there's a significant size difference between these two. Um, there's the accessories they come with. The Fiend comes with a head scan, another head scan, the Fiend belt. A jacket and arms for his jacket. Paul Hogan comes with two head scans, the NWO title, a jacket, and then uh, a little scarf thing he has that goes around his neck. So first up, let's take a look at the Fiend actually. So here is the Fiend close up of his face right there. If I can get it to focus. Great head scan in my opinion. There is his jacket. They nailed his tattoos, his pants, his boots there is the back of the figure and overall a fantastic figure in my opinion i am a huge fiend fan here is one of the head scan the other head scan it's got like his braids down and his face and stuff as you can see there here is the fiend belt i am a sucker for belts and this one looks fantastic Replica belts and figure belts. It says let in. There's the fiend. It literally pops out as well, which I think is sick. As you can see there, it comes out, which is a, such a cool addition to it. it. Says hurt and heal. There's the fiend himself. There is the back of the belt. It says some writing right there. Here is other arms and his jacket. Um, I'm gonna put the arms and jacket on to show you how that one looks and with all the accessories on it. But anyways, next up, let's look at Hulk Hogan. So I put his sunglasses on just for like an image. And let's take them off real quick, actually. They fall off easily. There is that head scan. There is his chest. He's got the belt right there. There is his attire with like the lightning bolts through it. NW on the back. And then back here, if I can not drop the figure. It says Hollywood. Um, and there's the scarf that he comes with. Um, here is like this hat. It's like hair in the back almost. And it says Hollywood on it. There are his two head scans. Let's just do it like this. There's the first head scan. There we go. There's the second head scan. Here is the NWO jacket. And then here is the belt. Looks fantastic. So let's like get all the accessories on the figures and just take a quicker look at them. So something I noticed about this figure that is really weird. So the belt won't fit around Hulk Hogan's waist whatsoever. You can't get it to snap on. Maybe it's because this little belt that he has right there. 
You can get them there, but you can't get them to snap on. It's literally impossible. So you have to have it around his arms or something, I guess. Um, that's something really weird that I noticed. So here we do have both figures with all of their accessories on. Took me a little bit because it's hard to get them to stand up with their accessories on. But here is the extra Hulk Hogan head scans. I'm not a big fan of head swapping or anything like that unless you were displaying them. Um, but for the sake of the video, here's just them with their normal accessories on. There's Hogan. Belt couldn't go around his waist, couldn't get up on his arm, so he has to hold it in his hand. And here is the Fiend. Sadistic look with his Fiend jacket and Fiend arms on. And there is the Fiend belt. Something I noticed about this jacket is at the back, it goes down a lot. And there's like a little crease right here. So like this little, like, it's flappy almost. Uh, it's really, really weird, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, this is an Ultimate Edition set I would definitely recommend. Uh, the newest Ultimate Edition set that got released was The Rock and John Cena, which is both duplicates. Not a big fan of that. Um, but yeah, that is all I do have for this video for you guys. I hope you all did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.